Failure is the price of progress. So hit me up with your questions. Questions about pottery, questions about owning a business, selling pottery, you know, whatever you want. What's up guys? I'm John the Potter and welcome back to another pottery video. Today we are on our way in. We're biking into Moke Monkey to unload a kiln. Got a full glaze kiln. We get to unload. I'm so excited. Sorry, it's my face is so dark. But that sun behind me kind of looks cool, huh? Alright, so I think this is like kiln unloading number 15 or 16 or something. But hey, we got some cool stuff in here. Some mugs, probably just a lot of mugs actually. Pretty sure it's like a ton of mugs. But yeah, other stuff we're gonna do today, I think we're gonna get out and do some wakeboarding. I love that I start my little trip to Moke Monkey on this hill, so I don't need uh, any, no hands. Look, no hands. See all the geese over there? Whew. All right, so we're gonna try this vlog style kill unloading today. It's okay, I literally ride on this trail. I ride on it every single day, and every time I ride past that sign, I think, they don't really mean that. You guys ready to open this kiln? Let's do it! Right. I'm a little sweaty, I'm a little out of breath. Excuse it, excuse the sweatiness. All right, I think we're just gonna get right into it. Whew. Seriously, it's maybe a little embarrassing that I'm so sweaty, but it's like 90 degrees outside, so. Got two shallow cappuccino cups, column. It's pretty nice. Four, I originally was gonna make these as coasters, but we just kind of need little circle plates at Mocha Monkey, so I thought I'll just make them in the plates. So those all turned out well. If you come into Mocha Monkey, you can get a delicious uh, sausage breakfast sandwich served on one of these guys. In this kiln, someone asked me to do a Minnesota mug, but they wanted the mug, the Minnesota, to be like bright red. And you've, if you've watched any of my channels, you know I don't really do bright red at all. So, but I was like, I'll, I'll do it. So I ordered a red, bright red underglaze. He ordered six of them, and I just put them in there and did them, which I do not recommend. If you're gonna do custom orders, I would recommend sticking to things that you do, not branching out and doing things that are outside your roof house. But, but, I'm kind of excited. <laughs> Oh man, look at that. Look at that. Look at that red. It's like, I mean, I think this is exactly what the customer wanted. That is cool. I mean, it's kind of ridiculous. Like, I wouldn't just put that on the shelf to sell it, but, but wow. I can't believe how well that turned out. Seriously, I'm a little giddy. So then I, they did six. They got six made, like three sets of two glazes, just because I didn't want to do them all and then have them all. So this is kind of like a red, white, and blue. It's what I was thinking, red, white, and blue. And then there's two more in here somewhere, but. Then we got some more of these pine tree mugs, because those are have been selling really well. I think we got a bunch of the pine tree ones in there. Oh, and then another custom order for somebody wanted six of these with the Waconia in there. So we had sold out of these already with the Ocean Drip Glaze, so I got six of those. Ah, some Minnesota mugs with that Canyon Skies Glaze. Whoo, I love that when it drips to the bottom, but not off. That is the best. That's the game. That's the game I play. How far can we get it to drip without making a mess? This is a really, really full kiln, by the way. Got four more of those pine tree mugs. Got some of this green. I don't have a name for that glaze yet. Comment below if you want to uh, name this glaze. It's 
kind of similar to like that Northern Lights, but it's the green on the bottom. So I got a bunch of those. Some more of those Waconia ones. Seriously, how many Minnesota mugs can you watch me unload? Kind of the same thing, like how many Minnesota mugs can I sell? Well, believe it or not, we sell a lot of them. Ah, uh, more of that. Unnamed glaze. Got some of the Northern Lights glaze. This is kind of odd. I can tell that that did not get fired up to temperature because it's got like some little bubbles. So I think I'm gonna fire a couple of these again, but they still look good. Okay, so here are the other two. So that's just a matte white with that red Minnesota in there. That time I'm kind of excited about that. And then here was another attempt at red, white, and blue. God, you know, I've tried to do this red, white, and blue, and this still this didn't work. It didn't work. I mean, it's fine. It's kind of red, white, and blue, but it's got really like a goldish color in there that just throws it off. So. But you know what? Failure is the price of progress. To progress anything, you have to be willing to fail. And that's what this is. I'm just, I failed like four times now trying to get a red, white, and blue. But you know what? Maybe I'll get it someday, maybe I won't. But either way, I'm progressing. More Northern Lights. Cool. God, we got a lot of mugs. Literally every, oh, I guess there was four plates. But hey. Thanks for watching me unload this kiln. Stick with me. What's up guys? We are on an airplane to California and I was just editing a video on the plane and I totally forgot to do a little outro thing. So, riders sleeping. We thankfully have an extra seat, which is amazing. Yeah, but so we're headed to California right now and I wanna do a video where I answer your questions. So, just comment below with any questions you guys have and I'll try to do a video where I answer a bunch of questions. I'm gonna go through a bunch of the comments and answer some questions that we've had already. But hey, thanks for watching this kill unloading number 15. Is it 15 or 16? I cannot. Good thing YouTube has all the titles. So yeah, so I wanna do a question and answer video in California. So hit me up with your questions. Questions about pottery, questions about in a business, selling pottery, you know, whatever you want. So hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Comment below with any questions you have. Like this video, share with your friends.